Welcome back. Uh, let's uh, take the discussion forward with Rishi Anand of Aadhaar Housing, the recently listed company, has come out with their Q4 numbers. Rishi, afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. A very neat 27% improvement as far as your NII are concerned. 44% uh, improvement in profit, almost 200 crore kind of a, a run rate you come on the quarterly basis. As we step into FY25, uh, what kind of uh, sustainable numbers would you look at or internally are you targeting? Uh, taking into account, if we just, you know, even out the volatility on a quarterly basis, how would you like to end the year with? Great. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much, Ajay, for having us. Uh, yes, I agree. Our teams have done an excellent job. The numbers are looking good. And if I can quickly recap some numbers uh, for the benefit of the viewers, our disbursement for FY24 stood at about 20% growth. and We closed the year at about 7,000 crore plus. AUM, we crossed a big benchmark and milestone of 20,000 crores and ended the year with 21,121 crores, which was approximately 23% growth. PAT, excellent results, 750 crores with 33% growth. So those are broadly the three uh, growth numbers that we, we uh, closely follow. Um, historically, Ajay, we have uh, uh, grown, if you look at the last couple of years, we've grown at the rate of about 20% on disbursement and about 22, 23% on, on AUM. And I, I, I don't see any reason why we should not be growing at the same numbers given that the demand side uh, of, of the industry is doing so well. Uh, that is in, in terms of numbers, in terms of statistics. So that's, that's how I would want to uh, uh, position it right now. Yeah. Now you can talk about some certain forward-looking growth uh, strategies as well now that you're a listed company fully and earnings have come out. Pre previously, you were slightly reluctant. Uh, you are, I, I see you are uh, you know, so widely spread into the country in terms of branch and states. I want to understand what are the growth levers the company would press in the next coming quarters would it be more products? Would it be going deeper into the states you already are? What are the growth strategies which you can press going forward in the next few years? Great, great question, Ajay. Uh, you know, we are, and you rightly said, we are we are a pan-India player spread across 20 states and union territory, 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 no more state to expand. You know, we are we are available in all possible states of the country. And, and yes, you know, in, since the last two years, our strategy now has been to go deeper into existing states, the states that we understand much better, where the credit profile, et cetera, is much better. So we started going deep in, into those states. Um, and if I can give you some numbers, uh, in the last... Uh, Two financial years, we have we have launched approximately 140 new branches in deeper impact, as we call them, deeper impact locations. And going forward, the strategy is going to be very simple. We will continue to grow on on our distribution side, uh, approximately anywhere between 60 to 75 branches year on year is what we are going to look at. I add that deeper impact strategy. In terms of products, sorry, you asked the second question. In terms of product, do we need additional products? We are uh, Ajay. We are a monoline housing finance company uh, at the umbrella level, which is the mortgage. There are two kinds of products that we do, which is one is home loans, which is seventy five percent of my book, and the one is micro loan against property, which is twenty five percent of of my book. And I I think there is more than sufficient demand to cater to this segment. And we are in in the near future not looking at any new product lines. You see, you you posted good 20, 30 percent uh, improvement on your key metrics that you were reading out yourself, and we are running it on the screen. You have comfortable visibility for foreseeable future to clock on the same kind of numbers at least. Uh, I I would. Uh, that's what I said. You know, if if we've been last couple of years we've been growing at these rates, I don't see an an issue at all. You know, and if I can at this point put uh, some data points with respect to. Uh, on the demand side, I, I, I was uh, giving a hint on that side. Um, you know, there is an uh, RBI report of 2019, which quotes that, um, and, and this is way back 2019, which quotes that there is a yeah, housing unit shortfall of 10 crores units. Out of this 10 crores, 9.5 crore comes from the EWS LIG segment. That is the seg my, my priority segment. That is the segment I cater to. So 9.5 crore unit shortfall as of 2019, and, and I'm sure that data has grown over a period of time. And if I were to just translate that into housing loan requirement, it translates translate to approximately 35 trillion. So if there is so much of demand that is un, 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 uh, untouched uh, as, of, as of now, so I, as I indicated, no reason why we should not grow at same rates. Yes, we are. We are on a twenty-one thousand crore book. It's a higher book. You, you on a higher book. Your growth rates uh, will not be 30, 35 percent, but comfortably at about twenty percent as we've been growing. Right. One last word. 
uh, we are also after the election of course the next immediate platform to watch out for would be the union budget and there is a lot of reports that the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana may be extended. In fact, uh, PM has gone on record to say that you know, four crore houses were built in the last term and almost an equal number is what they may aim at going forward. Would that give you a boost uh, you know, in terms of volumes of your loans? I would say definitely yes. If you remember and recall, Ajay, this, there was an existing scheme of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana uh, uh, PMAY subsidy scheme, which was existing till about 2022. It was called off in March 2022. And unfortunately for us, uh, we, we through us, uh, about close to about 2,200 crores of subsidy was distributed to our customers via the nodal agencies appointed by the government of India. Uh, in the interim budget, the finance minister already indicated that some kind of subsidy scheme should come. I, uh, the way we look at it, it should now be a little wider based um, uh, uh, subsidy scheme. And, and, and when it comes, it definitely gives an impetus uh, uh, to companies like us. And ultimately, you know, it helps the end, end, uh, end consumer. All right, Rishi, we'll let you go on that one. Thanks very much uh, uh, for chatting with us today.